<sighs> I'm kind of tired now because I almost finished the video about these uh, static resources like uh, 20 minutes ago and uh, suddenly these two or four recording the video doesn't work in this case I have to start over oh my god so uh, let me start over and uh, how to config uh, in Spring MVC to handle static uh, resources steady, step by step okay I have my project ready you can also download the source code from the github and uh, in the index controller I just have a root mapping to display the GSP page my GSP page is nothing now because I removed all the code and then in my web app uh, if you want to add a dot js file dot css file dot images for those files where to put you need to put under the web app this is the location to put all the static resources related to web okay and uh, uh, under web i create a folder called resources you can give any folder name you want and here i have images i have uh, two image the dog is directly under the image folder and the cat is under the user folder on the images so now if you want to display the two images inside the, the index.jsp it doesn't work let me show you okay image src suppose we using um let me let me using spring ui okay because or oh, see uh, let me just using the relative URL. don't add a leading slash it's gonna uh, cause a problem what's the problem is this is your URL to access your website whenever you add a leading slash your URL will become like this it's gonna remove the context root so if you you are not using spring url or c url don't add a leading slash uh, then uh, here to access it suppose uh, we start with the context root context root is a web app okay then you're using resources and slash images slash user slash cat dot jpg let me using the dog dog dot jpg it doesn't work i only show you one example we are using uh spring ui okay spring ui when using spring ui and the value is gonna be using the single code slash resources slash dog image dog dot jpg And then here okay it won't work let me run the application and show you the behavior in Chrome I hope this time this recording tool works perfectly okay now I have to go back to switch you to the Chrome in the Chrome I will make a call to the context root Okay. come here I'll copy the UI here and you can see the two images are not displayed why it's not displayed because you didn't tell spring how to handle those static resources if you don't tell spring will think you have a controller to handle this resource but uh, actually for static content there is no need to have a controller to handle that right we just return so how to config in your xml file if you want to uh, access your static resources based on your project folder structure then you can have this thing
okay? The foot serves like the handler. Then everything is gonna according to your structure of your folder, or project folder. Now I just add this and redeploy. And now let me switch to the Chrome. And uh, let me refresh the page. You will see the dog image is resolved successfully. And the next one, I'm gonna go back to the IntelliJ to show you another um, way to config. What's the another way? Because a lot of times we want to hide the actual folder structure uh, on my server side. We don't want to expose for security reason. It's also the same reason when you configure servlet, you have three names. And uh, how to do that? If you want, don't you want to use the, uh, the structure, okay? You need to do some configuration, which is using MVC resources. MVC resources. And uh, you have to assign values for these two attributes. Mapping, this is gonna be the URL you put in the image SRC or link href. Location will refer to the package structure, okay? It will refer to the package structure. So now if I config, config like this, slash abc, slash star star okay and then here i using resources which means when in the gsp file you have a uir start with slash abc it will map to the location resources which means map to here so let me copy this thing into the page and uh, now I want to get this uh, cut, okay? Let me add a pre, okay? So I have this configuration. Now the problem is how can I access this cat JPG? You have an image, you have a SRC, and uh, you using this URL, which is abc slash. Then this URL gonna map to resources, resources folder. So you are here now. Then how to get a cat? You go to images, go to user, go to cat, okay? Go to images, user, then you go to cat.jpg, okay? Uh, this image is a little bit big. I will using um, I will control the size of this one. Okay, got it. And if I want to using this URL to access this doc, what should I do? Then you have to do what? You have to using image still using SRC using ABC. Don't add a leading slash. If you want to add a leading slash, using this way. Okay. ABC we are located to resources then you using images okay images then you using dog.jpg dog.jpg okay and then done let me run it uh, redeploy it and uh, I'm gonna show you in the browser okay now I'm gonna show you in the browser. Let me switch. And I just do a refresh. You will see the cat image resolved, the dog image is also resolved. Because I have uh, two configurations, so the default way works and uh, the other way also works. Okay. Um, now I don't want to have another video to configure for Java 
uh, if you want to configure for using Java classes, I'm gonna just copy uh, source code here and show you. Okay, sorry for that. I'm really kind of uh, tired. Suppose in the here you have a config folder. Uh, did I switch back? I didn't switch back. Let me switch back to IntelliJ. Okay. Now I'm gonna uh, not this one. It's gonna be another IntelliJ. This one. Okay. I'm gonna create a new folder called uh, config. Okay. And uh, this tool is really not good to use. Okay, I have a folder config created. Now I want to, if it's a Java config, you have a what? You have a class called a web application context config class, right? And here you extends, uh, not extends, that one is deprecated. You implement web MVC configurer. I don't, I don't add a configuration, all the things, okay? I just show you what's gonna be here. So if you want to have the folder setting, which means if you want to do this way, if you want to do this way, okay? Then you have to override the one method, which is called this one. When you have this method configured, when you have this method configured, it's gonna exactly like this one. And uh, if you want to config like this way, what should you do? Which means if you want to do this way, which has a customized URL, then you have to override the method called add resources, okay? And uh, Other resources and uh, here is a location this location map to here you using resources and this resource handler equals this mapping you give a b c okay and uh, the aster asterisk here is the end matcher and uh, which means if you only has one asterisk here it doesn't map to sub directories which means sub folders if you add the two asterisk, it all will also map to sub directories. Um, got it? Um, uh, I hope after watching this video, you can get the idea of how to config handle static resources in Spring MVC. And if you have any questions, you can comment below. And uh, if you want to download the source code, you can go to the description and I will put a GitHub link there. You just go and find this project and just download. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, hope you like it. And if you like it, please click a like. And uh, if you can, you can subscribe my channel too. Okay, thank you. See you next time.